Hey guys, welcome back to Salesforce Made Simple. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to get the current record ID um, while working with a Salesforce ScreenFlow. And so this is something you'll have to do a lot if you're firing a ScreenFlow from a particular record. And the way you, you usually do that is with a button. So as you can see on the Google Doc here, there's only really a couple steps. And the major one is to create a variable inside your ScreenFlow. And the next is to name it record ID. So I'm going to jump over to Salesforce here. And I already have a screen flow set up and I only created the flow. I haven't saved it. So just before I start, I'm going to press save and I will just call it a screen flow, get current record ID and press save. And so just as the uh, Google doc said, what I need to do in order to uh, get the current record ID is to click on the manager tab and create a new resource. And this resource type, um, I like to do text because that's the old way that we always did it, um, but we'll select variable and then we will select data type of text down here, which is what I just mentioned. And then the API name of this variable is the key ingredient to make this work. So if you type in lowercase record, uppercase I, lowercase D, um, I've found that, you know, if you change this, sometimes there can be errors um, and, and this way pretty much always works. So that's the first thing is you need to name the API name of your variable record and then uppercase I and then lowercase D. So lowercase record, uppercase I, lowercase D. And then the next thing you need to do, and this is also extremely important, otherwise nothing else will work, is to check this box here that says available for input. And um, basically what Salesforce will do is Salesforce by itself, we don't have to do anything with this as flow builders, but it has you know some sort of um, function on the back end where if your flow has a variable called record ID and it's available for input, um, your screen flow will just take the current record ID automatically into the flow. And it's really that simple. So I'm gonna press done here. And now that we've created this variable, that's all we have to do in order to pair the screen flow with a record. And so let's you know take some more steps here. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to drag a get records to the canvas and we're just going to call this get account. And we're just going to look up um, the account object where the ID of the account equals that variable record ID. And now I want to point out, you do not have to do uh, this get records in order to get the other variable part to work. I'm just doing this to show you what you can then do in the flow once you have the record ID variable created. And in this case, what we're doing is we're taking this text record ID variable that Salesforce will populate and we're using it to go get the entire account record. Um, so once that's all set up, you can press done, connect your screen flow to your get account. And then I'm just gonna drag a screen element here to the canvas and we'll just call it screen one. And I'm gonna put uh, some text on the uh, screen. I think I actually want bigger text. Is there like, oh yeah, sorry, not a text input. I'm going to delete that off. So I'm going to drag the display text over to the screen. That's what I wanted. And I'll just call it display text one. And then I'm going to type um, the record ID is, and then I'm going to insert that record ID variable by clicking insert a resource and selecting the record ID. And so you can see with the merge syntax here, we now have our text and then we have our record ID. And then I am going to click insert a resource one more time. I'm gonna click the account and then I'm just gonna search the name. So now we have um, inserted a resource for the account name and I'll say the account name is colon space. And so what I've done here is I've just um, created a screen put some display text on the screen and then use both our text variable and the get account uh, get records to kind of populate some information here in the screen. And that's all I'm going to do with the flow. You'll see why this is important in a second. But now I will press done. I will connect the get account to the screen and press save. And then I'm going to activate this flow. So I'll press activate. And now what we need to do is we need to make this flow accessible from an account record. So I already have an account open, it's called Edge Communications, and we're gonna build a button that shows up here um, next to the edit and new contact buttons. So from this account screen, I'm going to click open the gear icon. I'm gonna press edit object. 
and this is going to take me to the account object in the object manager. I'm going to select button, links, and actions. Then I'll select new action. And you get this um, you know, configuration screen. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change the action type to a flow. And then we'll select the flow we want to use. Um, and mine is the second one in the list here. So I have a couple other uh, flows in this environment, but we called ours uh, screen flow dash get current record ID. So if you named it something different, uh, pick that here. And then I'll just call this uh, account screen is what the uh, name of the button will be when it's on the UI. And so once we've labeled it and the name pops up, we can then press save. And then we can click over here um, on the object name in order to navigate back to the account object. And then we can click the page layout. And what we need to do now is just add that button to the page layout. And I don't remember exactly which page layout the system admin profile has. Okay. So by clicking on the page layout assignment, I was able to find out it's the account layout. So I'll just click the account layout. And then from the uh, mobile and lightning actions section here, we see that our account screen button is available. And I can just drag that down here. Oh wait, oops. Um, so I can't drag it to the quick actions in Salesforce Classic Publisher. Well, I guess I could, but where I really wanna go is into the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section. And so I need to click uh, override the predefined actions and it will pop up all these actions. There's a lot here by default. So I'm just gonna take the account screen and put it at the very uh, front of the line. I will then press save. And now if I go back to an account, um, I'm hoping this won't take too long, but if I refresh the screen, we should see our account screen button here uh, on the UI and we do. And so that's great. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate by pressing this button what our record ID uh, variable does um, on the back end. So we'll press the screen button and you can see our screen pops up, um, but right away the record ID variable um, is populated by Salesforce automatically. And that's just because we created a text ID variable and we named it record ID uh, with a capitalization that I uh, mentioned earlier. And we can verify that this ID is correct by closing the flow and just looking at this ID here in the URL, and we see that it uh, ends in uh, GJ2AAB. And when we press the account screen, once again, we see it's uh, GJ2AAB. So we know that's the right you know, ID. And then we, uh, in our flow, we passed that record ID into a get element, and then the get element looked up the account. And then we were able to reference the name of the account through that get records element. And we see that here in the second line. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So uh, takeaway, you know, going back to our Google Doc, is you just create a variable with the text data type. You call it record um, ID, and then you mark it as available for input. And once you do that, you'll be able um, to pass record IDs into your screen flows.